Okay, we are going to do a titration on waste vegetable oil for making biodiesel with the equipment in the Riddle Biofuels Titration Kit. First, you start with a container. I'm using a beaker. You can use anything. You add 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. This is what I use. Myers is a local grocery store in the area. Take your big syringe. Draw up 10 milliliters of isopropanol, or thereabouts. This measurement is not critical. 10 milliliters is, is just to dissolve the free fatty acids in the oil, and it doesn't have to be that accurate. Next, you take your tight your indicating solution. Phenolphthalein is what we're using here. Add four or five drops of the alcohol. Next, we take your titrating solution, 1% sodium hydroxide. Fill up the syringe with the titrating solution. Make sure you keep these two syringes separate. You don't want to mix up the oil and the uh, titrating solution syringe. You don't want to get oil in your titrating solution. Add one or two drops to the alcohol and indicator. You can see it turns a nice pink with one drop. That's called blanking the solution. You want to do that in order to make sure you're starting at the neutral phase. Sometimes isopropanol can be a little bit acidic and you don't want to be measuring the acid in the alcohol. You just want to measure the acids in your oil. Next you get a sample of your oil. This is good stuff that I get from a local Chinese restaurant. Fill up the oil syringe with it. Now, you will notice on the plunger of the syringe, there's a little plastic support right here. That is excellent for using to measure your oil. You line up that little support with the number three or the number two on the syringe. Okay, I went a little far, we'll go two and a half. Perfect. It's lined right up with two and a half. It makes an excellent way to measure one milliliter of oil to add to your alcohol. You add the one milliliter of oil. In this case, I'm going down from two and a half to one and a half. This is a very accurate way of measuring precisely one milliliter of oil. And you can see that the indicator is now right at one and a half when I started at two. Mix it up. You can see the pink color disappears and it goes to kind of cloudy, milky. That's because of the oil dissolving in the alcohol. Take your titrating syringe again with, that's full of the titrating solution and start adding drops. Count your drops as you are adding. That's 20. Stir it up a little bit. I titrated this before so I know about how much it's going to take. Almost there at 30 drops. It changes color and then goes back to yellow. And there's a good color change that lasts for a few seconds. That was 33 drops. See if we can get a close up of that color for you. That's the color. If I can get this thing to focus. And that's what you were looking for. Just changing color to pink. You can see it faded back to cloudy again. That was 33 drops. Take your little chart here that I've developed. It's also included in the kit. You can see at the top of the chart it gives you drops that you added, grams per liter and grams per gallon. 
go down to 32 and you can see that it needs 6.1 grams of sodium hydroxide per liter of oil and 23.1 grams of sodium hydroxide per gallon of oil. This chart goes to 150 drops. So you add your six that accounts for the five gram base as well. This is very good titrating oil. You add your six grams per liter or 20, 16 grams per gallon and you're all set. There's a few more drops just so you can really see the color change. Good color change. That's more than we needed. That's five extra drops. You can see it doesn't take much to change the color. And that's a titration. Thank you.